Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know this is a bit of a YouTube drama, but people keep asking me about these kind of things and um, I just wanna give a quick opinion about it. You already know my overall opinion. Uh, I don't care for most financial YouTuber because people always ask me, Chris, who do you like? And to be really frank, I don't like most of them, if not all of them, but um, I wanna give an opinion on this. So CoffeeZilla guy, um, he basically came out and said, hey everyone, um, Millennial Money, your meet Kevin, Graham Stefan, Andre Jeek, Financial Jeremy, they're all responsible. Uh, for this FTX with a debacle and they're a bunch of morons. <laughs> basically, that's what CoffeeZilla said. This is a basic gist. And if you want to watch this thing, you can. Um, and then uh, what's interesting is um, Cornelia, Spencer Cornelia guy, he came out and basically defended and said, no, no, no. Um, my, my, my friends uh, are nice guys. My friends, you know, are okay. And lots of people got fooled. And, and this is essentially the messaging of their agency. Um, but uh, you know, the only person you should blame is um, Sam Bacon Freed. That's essentially the argument that they're making. And I just want to point out a couple things. So one is, you guys already know I don't like these people as it is, right? So you already know my opinion on that. So I'm clearly on the side of CoffeeZilla in this. And there's another thing too, which is extremely important. Actually, a couple things which I'll bring up. One is, um, yes, you can make the case that uh, st you know Steph Curry was with FTX, but the dude's a basketball player and he's a celebrity. And he doesn't, you know, pretend to have any financial wisdom whatsoever. The whole sort of thing with, you know, we'll just use example of, of uh, 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 Graham Stephan is that he's like, hey guys, I'm so good with money, et cetera. Follow me, follow me. And he gave his financial essentially endorsement of FTX. Um, this is the big, big difference there. I, I, if, you know, Graham Stephan says, hey guys, you should buy these shoes and not those shoes. Okay, I get it. Uh, but like, I'm not gonna listen to Steph Curry on FTX. I mean, this is sort of the stupid and crazy thing about crypto and NFTs that got way out of hand. And I was calling BS a long time ago. And this is sort of like, guys, you can check my videos because the other argument that um, uh, Spencer's gonna make is like, no one knew that FTX was bad. Nobody knew. I knew. I, you, I have the proof right there. I made several videos about it. Several videos about it. I made several videos about uh, Spencer's friends, right? Graham, me, Kevin, Minority Mindset, all these things. And um, do be aware that Spencer works at the same agency, uh, creator's agency as all his friends, right? There's Graham, there's Andre, there's me, Kevin, there's Spencer. I'm sure they're gonna change the website after seeing these videos over and over and over again, right? They're getting so irritated by it, but it's already out now, so they can't really change it. We, we all see them there, but they all work together. And um, when I made my first um, video about uh, their agency, uh, Spencer and a couple of the content creators that work for the agency came on my you know, channel right in the comments, oh Chris, you're so dumb, you're so dumb, our agency's so good, we're awesome. Okay, I mean, you can say that, and, and it was obviously coordinated, um, and then someone else from their agency was like one of their, I, can't, I think it was the credit Shufu guy, he was trying to send me a message from their CEO basically, and he's like, oh, I bet you if you reach out to the agency, they'll wanna to talk to you. <laughs> And then they try to act like that they're that they're not coordinated. It's so ridiculous. Uh, moreover, the same day uh, they were checking out my LinkedIn page. I, it was uh, Kohlberg, um, her husband was checking out my LinkedIn because you can see who checks out your LinkedIn page. It's not hard to see. Um, and so I, I just wanted to be well aware that that one of the things that's sort of disingenuous about uh, Spencer whenever he talks about this particular issue is he works with this agency and these people are his friends, right? So his channel is all about exposing. Uh, you know, grifters and stuff like that, but, I, and I don't know, I'm not gonna go through all Spencer stuff, but I wonder if he's ever like attacked Ricky Gutierrez or Minority Mindset or anyone else at their agency. I'm gonna guess probably not, and I understand that. I get it, right? That's a business relationship. You're you're in a relationship with your agency. Your agency gets you deals. I get that, I'm not stupid, and it's bad business to, you know, hit on other people who are also with the same agency, but I want I, I I want you to just understand, guys. When he's defending his friends, they're all they're all friends and at the same place. And I think uh, it's bad judgment. And this is for anyone out there. I'm um, sorry why I'm making this video. If you turn off your brain and you just go with your friends and follow your friends to do whatever they're gonna do. And, and there's there was a rumor that actually when Meet Kevin got his DUI that Spencer was also there. I I cannot confirm that rumor whatsoever. I, I cannot confirm whatsoever. If someone else can, please do. But there there was a rumor that like they're friends. And then the other thing is too with um, Graham and uh, Spencer, I actually put a clip of them on one of my videos a, a while ago, it was like a month or so ago. I couldn't find the video, but I know it's there. I remember exactly what they said. And in fact, someone else even put the same clip uh, of the Sexy Sex a few days ago. So basically what it was is, um, I can tell you exactly what they said because I, I had it, uh, I had the file, I have the whole thing, whatever. Um, but it was basically uh, Spencer and Graham and then the third year on Ice Coffee Hour were talking about sponsorships. And literally Spencer says, Graham, 
what's your price? What's your price to you know what you know to take any deal? And um and and uh, actually Graham said Spencer, if you take a bad deal, it would ruin you. And actually Spencer agreed, but then Spencer said you know Graham. What if you took a bad deal? And this is what Graham's response was. Guys, I remember this crystal clear. I don't just make random stuff up. So Graham basically said, well, I believe my followers would understand if the sponsor gave me enough money that I should take it, even if it was a bad deal. You know, even if I was cheating my, my, my followers, they would understand because it was a lot of money. And that's when Spencer's like, Graham, what's your price? And, and guys, I'm not making this stuff up. And, and so the, the basic gist of it is like, these people are all about money. And it is an unfortunate thing. And, and I think CoffeeZilla has a point when he calls out people and just saying like, dude, these people are frauds, et cetera. It is a, it is a real thing. And I've been calling out this for a while. And I just wanna point out these fundamental things. I'm not just making random stuff up. And again, um, not everyone fell for the FTX thing. I'm like making crap about this like for a long time. Anyone who's been hanging out with my channel, you would see this for yourself. You guys can, please, I implore you, look it up. I'm not making stuff up. Not everyone fell for the, you know, FTX crypto NFT scam because many of us saw it for, saw for what it was or maybe I was the only one, who knows? Um, I, I, I can just tell you that not everyone falls for these kind of things. And I just made a video about shame just a few minutes ago and I just wanted to update this one because again, people ask me in comments about my stuff and my opinions on these kind of things. So again, when, when everyone asked me the, the general question, uh, you know, what other YouTubers I like, not that many. To be perfectly frank, not that many, and and the main reason why is because most of these people are, are fraudsters and, and they're they're greedy. I I can tell you guys, I do YouTube every single day. We're a very small channel. I'm a very small channel. I'm happy with a thousand views, very very small, and in these other channels, they'll get like three hundred thousand, five hundred thousand views, and, and I look at that and I'm like, oh my god, that's like ludicrous amounts of money that they get. They get like because I know what it is. Like let's say a video. I'm just telling you guys. Let's say I get five dollars a video, or whatever, and, and and they get like you know. 300, 500, 1,000 times that, it's like every video these people are making like $1,000, $2,000 for, for making a video on YouTube. That's how much money they make. And, and I'm always laughing and I'm just like, oh my God, it's crazy. And, and what's, what's crazy, and I, and I laugh about it, is that they even want more. They're, they're so greedy that they'll take bad deals and, and, and pitch you 30 second things in their videos because they want more. And, and I, I just think that's greed. And one of the things that would really irritate me if, if I was, you know, people like you, you know, audience, is that I, I pay money to, you know, get my uh, YouTube Prime to not watch ads, and then I got some clown reading, you know, reading me a 30 second script ad or whatever. So that's my thoughts on these things. Anyway, just want to put this out there. That's my thoughts on the CoffeeZilla, uh, Spencer Cornelia thing. Again, Spencer Cornelia is worth with the same agency as the people he's defending. So you take that as you as you may. Uh, I'm with CoffeeZilla on this one. Thanks again for watching, everyone, and I'll catch you next video.